Ket Test Builder by Sarah Diamond, Nick Kenny and Amanda French. Published by Macmillan Education, a division of Macmillan Publishers Limited. Copyright Macmillan Publishers Limited, 2005. Recording 50. Further practice and guidance. Test 3. Paper 2. Part 4. Exercise 3. 12 Vauxhall Road. That's V A U X H A L L. 44 Grafton Avenue. That's G R A F T O N. 6 Tudor Street. That's T U D O R. 81 Drury Avenue. That's D R U R Y. 16 Edinburgh Street. That's E D I N B U R G H. 158 Dominion Road. That's D O M I N I O N. Recording 48. Further practice and guidance. Test 3. Paper 2, Part 4. Exercise 1. A. B. C. D. E. F. G. H. I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z Recording 49 Further Practice and Guidance Test 3 Paper 2 Part 4 Exercise 2 Peter Rees. That's R double -E, e S. Simon Hughes. That's H U G H E S. Jane Thatcher. That's T H A T C H E R. Julie Harding, that's H A R D I N G. Andrew Finch, that's F I N C H. Emily Dixon, that's D I C K S O N. Stephen Elliott. That's E double -L, L I O T. Recording 41. Further practice and guidance. Test 2. Paper 2, Part 1. Numbers. Exercise 1A. How do you pronounce these numbers? 3. 
thirteen, thirty, four, fourteen, forty, five, fifteen, fifty. Six, sixteen, sixty. Recording forty two. Further practice and guidance. Test two. Paper two, part one. Numbers. Exercise one B. Circle the numbers from exercise one A that you hear. Thirteen, forty, fifteen, sixty. Recording forty three. Further practice and guidance. Test two, paper two, part one. Numbers. Exercise one C. How do you pronounce these numbers? Thirty-three, three hundred and three, three hundred and thirty-three, fifty-five, five hundred and five, five hundred and fifty-five. Recording forty four. Further practice and guidance. Test two, paper two, part one. Prices. Exercise two. How do you pronounce these prices? Fifty dollars. Fifty pounds. Fifty five pounds. Five hundred and five pounds. Five hundred and fifty pounds. Two pounds ten. Eight pounds fifteen. Ten pounds ninety nine. Five pounds seventy five. Four pounds thirty. Recording forty five. Further practice and guidance. Test two. Paper two. Part one. Dates. Exercise three a. How do you pronounce these dates? The first of May. The second of January. The third of October. The fourth of June. Recording forty six. Further practice and guidance. Test two, paper two, part one. Dates. Exercise three b. Circle the dates that you hear. Sixteenth, tenth, fifth, twenty second, third, second. Twentieth, twelfth, fourth, fifteenth. Recording forty seven. Further practice and guidance. Test two. 
Paper 2, Part 1 Times Exercise 4 How do you pronounce these times? 10 a.m. 10 p.m. 1 o'clock 1 10 1 15 1 30 1 40 1 45 1 50 1 55 Recording 51. Further practice and guidance. Test 4. Paper 2. Part 5. Pronunciation and listening task. Exercise 1. Flight. Single. Daughter. Luggage. Stamp. Cupboard. Psychiatrist Receipt Grandmother Sandwich Wednesday Midnight Recording 52 Further Practice and Guidance Test 4 Paper 2 Part 5 Pronunciation and listening task. Exercise 2. Castle. Island. Autumn. Climb. Listen. Salmon. Lamb. CD 2. Recording 21. Test 3. This is the Key English Test, Practice Listening Test 3. There are five parts to the test. Parts 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. We will now stop for a moment before we start the test. Please ask any questions now because you must not speak during the test. Now look at the instructions for part one. You will hear five short conversations. You will hear each conversation twice. There is one question for each conversation. For questions one to five, put a tick under the right answer. Here is an example. How many people were at the party? Were there many people at Mary's party? Thirty. That's a lot. Yes, but she's got a large house. The answer is thirty, so there is a tick in box B. Now we are ready to start. Look at question one. Recording 22. One. What does the woman want to drink? I need something to drink. Shall we stop for a cup of tea? I'd prefer a cold drink. OK. Let's go and get a glass of fruit juice at that cafe. A bottle of water will be fine for me. Now listen again. I need something to drink. Shall we stop for a cup of tea? I'd prefer a cold drink. OK. Let's go and get a glass of fruit juice at that cafe. A bottle of water will be fine for me. Recording 23. 2. Which woman is the new maths teacher? That's your new maths teacher, isn't it? No. My teacher has got short hair, but it isn't blonde like hers. Oh, yes. I made a mistake. And she never wears glasses. I think that's Mrs Black over there, the new history teacher. Now listen again. 
That's your new maths teacher, isn't it? No, my teacher has got short hair, but it isn't blonde like hers. Oh, yes, I made a mistake. And she never wears glasses. I think that's Mrs Black over there, the new history teacher. Recording 24 3. What did the boys see at the zoo? Did you enjoy going to the zoo? The monkeys were really funny, but we didn't have time to see the lions. I like watching the elephants. Oh, the elephant house was closed. Now listen again. Did you enjoy going to the zoo? The monkeys were really funny, but we didn't have time to see the lions. I like watching the elephants. Oh, the elephant house was closed. Recording 25 4. How does the man travel to work? Is your journey to work easier now you've changed your job? Yes, it's much better. I don't miss the journey on the train at all. Do you take the bus now? There is a bus, but I always take my bike. It's quicker when there's a lot of traffic. Now listen again. Is your journey to work easier now you've changed your job? Yes, it's much better. I don't miss the journey on the train at all. Do you take the bus now? There is a bus, but I always take my bike. It's quicker when there's a lot of traffic. Recording 26 5. What is the date of the concert? Are you coming to my school concert? It's in February. I don't know, I'm afraid. I'm going on a business trip on the 9th. It's on the 5th just before the half-term holiday begins. Oh yes, that starts on the 7th, doesn't it? Well, that's good then. I'll be here for the concert. Now listen again. Are you coming to my school concert? It's in February. I don't know, I'm afraid. I'm going on a business trip on the 9th. It's on the 5th just before the half-term holiday begins. Oh yes, that starts on the 7th, doesn't it? Well, that's good then. I'll be here for the concert. This is the end of part one. Recording 27. Now look at part two. Listen to Maria telling Tom about her house. Which colour did she paint each room? For questions six to ten, write a letter A to H next to each room. You will hear the conversation twice. Hello, Tom. Come in. Hi, Maria. Oh, your house looks very different since the last time I was here. Yes, I've painted almost every room. I used my favorite color, pink, in the hall. I really like it. Do you remember, the living room was orange. <laughs> <laughs> it was horrible, so I painted it yellow. It goes with my sofas. I thought all the rooms would be pink. No. Come and see the dining room. The walls were blue and green squares, so I painted it all the same colour. Mm, it's a very nice blue. Isn't it the same colour as your kitchen? I've got a new wooden floor in the kitchen, so I chose a very light brown for the walls. Mm. Uh, have you painted upstairs? Yes. My bedroom furniture is pink, so I used a light purple for the walls. And the bathroom was the same orange color as downstairs. I chose white because I didn't really know what color to paint it. 
Well, I think you've worked really hard. Now listen again. Hello, Tom. Come in. Hi, Maria. Oh, your house looks very different since the last time I was here. Yes, I've painted almost every room. I used my favorite color, pink, in the hall. I really like it. Do you remember? The living room was orange. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was horrible, so I painted it yellow. It goes with my sofas. I thought all the rooms would be pink. No. Come and see the dining room. The walls were blue and green squares. So I painted it all the same color. Mm, it's a very nice blue. Isn't it the same color as your kitchen? I've got a new wooden floor in the kitchen. So I chose a very light brown for the walls. Mm. Uh, have you painted upstairs? Yes. My bedroom furniture is pink. So I used a light purple for the walls. And the bathroom was the same orange color as downstairs. I chose white because I didn't really know what color to paint it. Well, I think you've worked really hard. This is the end of part two. Recording 28. Now look at part three. Listen to Sonia asking about a game. For questions 11 to 15, tick A, B or C. You will hear the conversation twice. Toy Shop. Hello, my name's Sonia. I saw an advertisement for a new game. I think it's called Go. Hmm, sorry, I don't know it. Uh, there's a new game called Start. That's the one I mean. <laughs> I'm sorry, my mistake. Do you sell it? Yes. We only have a few left this week because we've nearly sold them all in the two weeks since we got them. Is the game only for four players? I think you need two people or more. It's not a game for only one person. Can anyone play this game? My sister's only five. It is for people under the age of 16 but it wouldn't be interesting for children younger than eight. It takes quite a long time to play. How long is one game? The idea is you have a board which shows different countries. You travel round the world and try to collect more cards than the other players in an hour. The person who has the most after that time wins the game. I see. There's a competition with the game at the moment. The prize is a trip to America for only five pounds. Great, thanks. That's all right. Now listen again. Toy Shop. Hello, my name's Sonia. I saw an advertisement for a new game. I think it's called Go. Hmm, sorry, I don't know it. Uh, there's a new game called Start. That's the one I mean. <laughs> I'm sorry, my mistake. Do you sell it? Yes. We only have a few left this week because we've nearly sold them all in the two weeks since we got them. Is the game only for four players? I think you need two people or more. It's not a game for only one person. Can anyone play this game? My sister's only five. It is for people under the age of 16 but it wouldn't be interesting for children younger than eight. It takes quite a long time to play. How long is one game? The idea is you have a board which shows different countries. You travel round the world and try to collect more cards than the other players in an hour. The person who has the most after that time wins the game. I see. There's a competition with the game at the moment. The prize is a trip to America for only five pounds. Great, thanks. That's all right. This is the end of part three.
Recording 29. Now look at part 4. You will hear a telephone conversation about booking a taxi. Listen and complete the questions 16 to 20. You will hear the information twice. Hello, ABC Taxi Company. Hello, my name's Harry Todd. I'd like to book a taxi. Certainly, Mr Todd. Where would you like to go? I've got to meet a friend from Italy at the airport, but my car is at the garage at the moment. OK, the airport. Is that tomorrow? No, the day after. OK, Saturday then. What time? Her plane lands at 8am, so I'll need to leave the house at 7. I don't want to be late. That's no problem. We'll have a driver at your house at that time. What's your address, please? 39 Linden Road. That's L-I-N-D-E-N -E Road. Oh, yes, at the top of City Road. That's right. And my phone number is 286-013. That's fine. The taxi driver will call you if he can't find your house. The driver will be Peter. It'll be about £25. All right, thanks. OK, thanks for calling. Now listen again. Hello, ABC Taxi Company. Hello, my name's Harry Todd. I'd like to book a taxi. Certainly, Mr Todd. Where would you like to go? I've got to meet a friend from Italy at the airport, but my car is at the garage at the moment. OK, the airport. Is that tomorrow? No, the day after. OK, Saturday then. What time? Her plane lands at 8am, so I'll need to leave the house at 7. I don't want to be late. That's no problem. We'll have a driver at your house at that time. What's your address, please? 39 Linden Road. That's L-I-N-D-E-N -E Road. Oh, yes, at the top of City Road. That's right. And my phone number is 286-013. That's fine. The taxi driver will call you if he can't find your house. The driver will be Peter. It'll be about £25. All right, thanks. OK, thanks for calling. This is the end of part four. Recording 30. Now look at part five. You will hear some information about a boat trip. Listen and complete questions 21 to 25. You will hear the information twice. Hello everyone. I'd like to give you some information about the boat trip. We didn't have a trip last Wednesday because of exams, so we're going on a special trip on Saturday. I hope you can all come. The boat leaves at 10.30, so we'll meet at 10. Please don't be late because the boat gets very full. We normally meet here at the college when we go on trips, but you all know River Street, don't you? I'll be at the ticket office to meet you there. The trip usually costs £4.50 for adults, but you're all students, so it's only £3.50. It's very cheap. The boat trip takes three hours. Now, on the boat, drinks are available, and they're not expensive, 
but you will need to bring some food for lunch. The boat will stop at several beautiful places, so please bring your cameras. It will also stop at Hamble Village for an hour, and we'll get out to look at the market, which is just by the river. I think it will be a great day. Now listen again. Hello everyone. I'd like to give you some information about the boat trip. We didn't have a trip last Wednesday because of exams, so we're going on a special trip on Saturday. I hope you can all come. The boat leaves at 10.30, so we'll meet at 10. Please don't be late because the boat gets very full. We normally meet here at the college when we go on trips, but you all know River Street, don't you? I'll be at the ticket office to meet you there. The trip usually costs £4.50 for adults, but you're all students, so it's only £3.50. It's very cheap. The boat trip takes three hours. Now, on the boat, drinks are available, and they're not expensive, but you will need to bring some food for lunch. The boat will stop at several beautiful places, so please bring your cameras. It will also stop at Hamble Village for an hour, and we'll get out to look at the market, which is just by the river. I think it will be a great day. This is the end of part five. You now have eight minutes to write your answers on the answer sheet.
You have one more minute. This is the end of the test. Recording 31. Test 4. This is the Key English Test, Practice Listening Test 4. There are five parts to the test. Parts 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. We will now stop for a moment before we start the test. Please ask any questions now because you must not speak during the test. Now look at the instructions for part one. You will hear five short conversations. You will hear each conversation twice. There is one question for each conversation. For questions one to five, put a tick under the right answer. Here is an example. How many people were at the party? Were there many people at Mary's party? Thirty. That's a lot. Yes, but she's got a large house. The answer is thirty, so there is a tick in box B. Now we are ready to start. Look at question one. Recording 32. 1. How much will the man pay for the jacket? This is a nice jacket, and it's the right size for you. £65 is too much. OK, try this one. It's only £35. I don't like the colour. Here's one for £45. I'll take that. Now listen again. This is a nice jacket, and it's the right size for you. £65 is too much. OK, try this one. It's only £35. I don't like the colour. Here's one for £45. I'll take that. Recording 33. 2. Where did the woman have lunch? Annie, do you want to have lunch with us today? We're going for a picnic. Sorry, I've got to take my car to the garage. You should eat something. Don't worry, I had a sandwich at the cafe near the park. Now listen again. Annie, do you want to have lunch with us today? We're going for a picnic. Sorry, I've got to take my car to the garage. You should eat something. Don't worry, I had a sandwich at the cafe near the park. Recording 34. 3. What is the girl's favourite subject at school? That was a good lesson. I like the new history teacher. Mm, she's very nice. Much friendlier than the teacher we had last year. But the subject's so boring. I like geography best. Oh, science is my favourite. Oh, I really hate science. I never understand it. Now listen again. 
That was a good lesson. I like the new history teacher. Mm, she's very nice. Much friendlier than the teacher we had last year. But the subject's so boring. I like geography best. Oh, science is my favourite. Oh, I really hate science. I never understand it. Recording 35. 4. How will the man travel to London? Why don't you fly to London? It's very cheap now. Yes, I tried to book a seat on the plane. There weren't any left, so I decided to go by train. It's two hours quicker than the coach. Was the ticket expensive? No, I got a special price. It didn't cost much more than the coach. Now listen again. Why don't you fly to London? It's very cheap now. Yes, I tried to book a seat on the plane. There weren't any left, so I decided to go by train. It's two hours quicker than the coach. Was the ticket expensive? No, I got a special price. It didn't cost much more than the coach. Recording 36. 5. Which shop will they go to next? Can we go home now? I've just got to look in one more shop. But we've spent all afternoon looking at clothes. I'm tired. And we've been in more than five shoe shops. I need a birthday present for my little sister. I'll just go into this shop and buy her a game. Then we can go home. Now listen again. Can we go home now? I've just got to look in one more shop. But we've spent all afternoon looking at clothes. I'm tired. And we've been in more than five shoe shops. I need a birthday present for my little sister. I'll just go into this shop and buy her a game. Then we can go home. This is the end of part one. Recording 37. Look at part two. Listen to Helena talking about food that people have brought to a party. Which person brought each thing to the party? For questions 6 to 10, write a letter, A to H, next to each person. You will hear the conversation twice. Did you make all this food, Helena? It looks great. No, Jack. Everybody brought in some food. You were the only one I asked to bring drinks. Thanks a lot for bringing them, by the way. Do you know Susie made that pizza herself? You should try a piece. <laughs> I will. And who made that chocolate cake? The one behind the sandwiches? Julie brought that. I think she said her mum made it. I love sweet things. I see that Mark's here. Did he bring anything? I asked him to bring some fruit or biscuits. He just brought biscuits. He said he never eats fruit. I suppose you made the salad, Helena. No, my job was to organise the music and the lights. I asked Tim to bring it. I think he bought it from the supermarket, but it looks OK. And what about Sally? I said she could bring anything she wanted, so she brought that big bowl of sweets. Mark helped her to choose them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm hungry. Can I have a sandwich? Now listen again. Did you make all this food, Helena? It looks great. No, Jack. Everybody brought in some food. You were the only one I asked to bring drinks. Thanks a lot for bringing them, by the way. Do you know Susie made that pizza herself? You should try a piece. <laughs> I will. And who made that chocolate cake? The one behind the sandwiches? Julie brought that. 
I think she said her mum made it. I love sweet things. I see that Mark's here. Did he bring anything? I asked him to bring some fruit or biscuits. He just brought biscuits. He said he never eats fruit. I suppose you made the salad, Helena. No, my job was to organise the music and the lights. I asked Tim to bring it. I think he bought it from the supermarket, but it looks OK. And what about Sally? I said she could bring anything she wanted, so she brought that big bowl of sweets. Mark helped her to choose them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm hungry. Can I have a sandwich? This is the end of part two. Recording 38. Now look at part three. Listen to Martin asking about a holiday job. For questions 11 to 15, tick A, B or C. You will hear the conversation twice. Hello? Hello. My name's Martin. Could you tell me about the job for a kitchen assistant? Yes. I need someone to work for six weeks in the holidays. Where is the job? Near Asco Supermarket, um, opposite the City Hotel. There's a cafe called Lunch Stop. That's us. I'm free to work between 15 and 20 hours a week. How many hours is this job? It's for 20 hours a week. Twelve of those will be in the evenings. Uh, how much is the pay? All our kitchen assistants get the same pay. Actually, it's just gone up from £5 to £5.50. Oh, that's good. Uh, can I eat my meals there? Kitchen assistants can get cheaper meals. Also, because you have to work late at the weekends, we pay for a taxi to take you home after work. Hmm. It sounds interesting. Can I come and meet you? Uh, yes. I'm busy on Saturday. Uh, I can see you next Monday or Thursday at 10 o'clock. I'll come on Monday then. Thanks. Now listen again. Hello? Hello. My name's Martin. Could you tell me about the job for a kitchen assistant? Yes. I need someone to work for six weeks in the holidays. Mm. Where is the job? Near Asco Supermarket, um, opposite the City Hotel. There's a cafe called Lunch Stop. That's us. I'm free to work between 15 and 20 hours a week. How many hours is this job? It's for 20 hours a week. Twelve of those will be in the evenings. Uh, how much is the pay? All our kitchen assistants get the same pay. Actually, it's just gone up from £5 to £5.50. Oh, that's good. Uh, can I eat my meals there? Kitchen assistants can get cheaper meals. Also, because you have to work late at the weekends, we pay for a taxi to take you home after work. Hmm. It sounds interesting. Can I come and meet you? Uh, yes. I'm busy on Saturday. Uh, I can see you next Monday or Thursday at 10 o'clock. I'll come on Monday then. Thanks. This is the end of part three. Recording 39. Now look at part four.
You will hear a conversation at a hotel. Listen and complete the questions 16 to 20. You will hear the information twice. Hello. Can you help me? I'd like to book a room for tonight. Certainly. Could I have your name, please? It's David Woods. How do you spell your surname? W-O-O-D-S. Thank you. You've stayed here before, haven't you? Yes, that's right. Now, would you like a double, a single or a twin room? I don't really need a double room this time. My wife is staying at home. Have you got a twin or a single, perhaps? Preferably one that's really quiet. Mm, the twin rooms are all full tonight, but I can give you a single on the third floor. That's great. How much will that cost? I think I paid £80 last time. That was for a larger room. The price is normally £70 for this room, but we'll let you have it for £65 as you've stayed here before. Thanks. I don't want to have breakfast tomorrow morning, but is your restaurant open tonight? I'd like dinner. Yes, that's fine. One other thing. Have you parked in the hotel car park? Yes. My number plate is WL02FTR. That's fine. Thanks. Now listen again. Hello. Can you help me? I'd like to book a room for tonight. Certainly. Could I have your name, please? It's David Woods. How do you spell your surname? W-O-O-D-S. Thank you. You've stayed here before, haven't you? Yes, that's right. Now, would you like a double, a single or a twin room? I don't really need a double room this time. My wife is staying at home. Have you got a twin or a single, perhaps? Preferably one that's really quiet. Mm, the twin rooms are all full tonight, but I can give you a single on the third floor. That's great. How much will that cost? I think I paid £80 last time. That was for a larger room. The price is normally £70 for this room, but we'll let you have it for £65 as you've stayed here before. Thanks. I don't want to have breakfast tomorrow morning, but is your restaurant open tonight? I'd like dinner. Yes, that's fine. One other thing. Have you parked in the hotel car park? Yes. My number plate is WL02FTR. That's fine. Thanks. This is the end of part four. Recording 40. Now look at part five. You will hear some information about a museum. Listen and complete questions 21 to 25. You will hear the information twice. Welcome to Wexford History Museum. I'd like to tell you a little about the museum before you start your visit. It opened in 1923 and the building we're in was once an old school. During your visit, you will learn all about the history of fishing. Some of the things in the museum are over 3,000 years old. Our guides will be happy to give you a tour. The 1215 tour has nearly finished, but there's a tour at 115 and another one at 215. They're every hour until 515. It doesn't cost anything to look round the museum by yourself, and it's only two pounds each for the tour. Now, I'm sure you'll enjoy a visit to our shop, which sells lots of lovely things. 
For those of you who are on holiday in Wexford, you can buy postcards here. If you need any stamps or envelopes, the post office is just next to the museum. Our shop also has books on many subjects, history, language, cooking, plants and birds, and there are maps as well. You'll certainly find lots of ideas for presents. Enjoy your visit today. Now listen again. Welcome to Wexford History Museum. I'd like to tell you a little about the museum before you start your visit. It opened in 1923, and the building we're in was once an old school. During your visit, you will learn all about the history of fishing. Some of the things in the museum are over 3,000 years old. Our guides will be happy to give you a tour. The 1215 tour has nearly finished, but there's a tour at 115 and another one at 215. They're every hour until 515. It doesn't cost anything to look round the museum by yourself, and it's only two pounds each for the tour. Now, I'm sure you'll enjoy a visit to our shop, which sells lots of lovely things. For those of you who are on holiday in Wexford, you can buy postcards here. If you need any stamps or envelopes, the post office is just next to the museum. Our shop also has books on many subjects, history, language, cooking, plants and birds, and there are maps as well. You'll certainly find lots of ideas for presents. Enjoy your visit today. This is the end of part five. You now have eight minutes to write your answers on the answer sheet.
You have one more minute. This is the end of the test.